Um, the, the, the Russians have a range of ordnance. Uh, they have bunker buster bombs. If they intended to, they could penetrate the containment. Mm. But but it doesn't, to, to me at least at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any evidence that they want to do that. I think everything points to that they want to take over the reactors and they may be willing to sort of have a bit of a fight outside the, the, the reactor boundary. Right. Um, but that's about it. Russian forces have seized Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Ukraine. After heavy shelling, a fire broke out, which has been contained. The US Embassy in Kyiv have condemned it as a war crime. Dr Michael Bluck, the head of nuclear engineering group at Imperial College London, joins us on the line now. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Kath. When you hear, and as we did overnight, of an attack on a nuclear power plant, it, it's obviously extremely worrying, but there has been some reassuring news since about its safety, hasn't there? Yes, I mean, it's always... A, um, when I got up this morning and, and saw the news, obviously, if you associate fire with a, a nuclear power plant, it's uh, inevitably... Uh, Draws, draws dreadful comparisons. So, uh, but since since then, it, it, it's become a, a bit clearer. I think that that their intention seems to be to take over the plant. Um, sorry, apologies. Don't worry. Mute that call. <laughs> My son. <laughs> um, uh, and that the the intention seems to be that. Uh, I suppose this is unsurprising. Uh, really, I'm not a, a military tactician, but I suppose one of the aims is to take over critical infrastructure and of course a nuclear power plant is that mm. um, and it seems that they've they've gained access but um, uh, they're they're looking after it if you can if you can say that but in terms of President Zelensky said that it what happened you know striking a power plant could have caused six Chernobyls is he correct in theory uh, in theory no um, the the Ch Chernobyl was a very different sort of reactor. Uh, it failed due to a combination of extremely poor design and and and, and very poor operation. Um, and and that's not what we've what we've got here. This is a very different design of reactor, a pressurized water reactor. And the 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 the, the, the mode of failure that we're looking at is probably. Uh, I mean. Uh, Hopefully this won't happen at all, but the worst case scenario is probably more akin to Fukushima than Chernobyl. Well, th that's reassuring about the design, but obviously one of the failures that you pointed to on Chernobyl was over operation. And the Russians are now in control of this plant, although it's being operated, as we understand it, by regular staff. Can yes. the Russians be trusted to oversee that operation? Um, well, I, I think it's, it's, it's a brave person who, 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 who decides to trust the the, 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 the the Russian leadership on one level. Having said that, the VVER design, uh, reactor design, is a Russian design. So in a sense, if they don't know how to run it, nobody does. You'd hope so. And I just wanted to ask you about the design, um, because I, I've, I've read that it is, you know, relatively modern, and, and you've confirmed that. So how big an explosion could a power plant like this withstand? That's, that, oh, well, that's very difficult to say. They're, they're designed typically... To, to contain, I mean, it's called the outer building is a, is a called the containment. So that gives you a clue to what the primary design person, purpose of that is. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's more than a metre thick of reinforced concrete lined with steel. Um, and and so, so it is designed, a reactor of that age is designed to certainly uh, uh, withstand significant impacts Probably not designed to withstand sort of direct missile attack. Um, that's, uh, but, but, but it may well sort of be robust enough. More modern designs have a secondary containment specifically to deal with, for instance, aircraft impact. And that was a right. result of 9-11. But so it's difficult to say. Of course, <laughs> um, the, the, the Russians have a range of ordnance. Uh, they have bunker buster bombs. If they intended to, they could penetrate the containment. Mm. But but it doesn't, to, to me at least at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any evidence that they want to do that. I think everything points to that they want to take over the reactors and they may be willing to sort of have a bit of a fight outside the, the, the reactor boundary. Right. Um, but that's about it. So so, so uh, we're in a different ball game if they intend to, 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 to penetrate the, the, the containment.
Dr Michael Block, uh, head of the Nuclear Engineering Group at Imperial College London, relatively reassuring there, obviously, there's still the capacity for uh, a deadly accident happening, which we hope won't happen. Yeah.